but you know what you need to do. So y'all, <laughs> what's going on? I feel I, I didn't put any argan oil on, on my face today. Oh, shit. Um, I was watching Monique is on something on YouTube um, talking about Steve Harvey and talking about um, Oprah, what what happened with Oprah. And um, so I was watching. I didn't get to finish watching the one on Oprah, but I did watch the one on Steve Harvey. And <laughs> Monique said, Steve, Steve has no integrity and now he has no bag. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all don't know how I feel about the Monique situation, you're going to have to go watch other videos. I, You probably will not like me after after watching that because I did not have the same, I did not take the same stance as uh, the majority of the people who were standing with um, Miss Hicks. Um, but go ahead and like and subscribe um, and hit the thumbs up and hit the bell twice for notifications and if you haven't watched the black china and love and hip-hop part one recaps go look at those they're on uploaded already so let me get this all right so i was just watching this thing um, you know, with Monique. So I guess y'all can watch it with me. I don't know how much, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video because when I get to where I'm going, I'm not going to have time to edit. I'm, I just need, I just got to, uh, I don't know. What street did they tell me to take? I think, I think they told me to take the right street. I'm trying to figure out the fastest way to get to where I'm going. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm watching this thing with Monique and she's talking about, um, how long is it? It's only 11 minutes. So, oh God. Come on. Ugh. Come on, y'all. Are you serious? Get over it, child. See y'all doing the models. Just slow for no reason. Why are y'all slow? See all the cars? We, we trying to drive fast. What's going on? So let's watch this thing with Monique. What you call is negative comments. Let me go to the part I was up. already. Oh, I don't even deal with things like that because she's talking about over she told to do is see you for who you are. She told the story to the red room. She told the story about her and what happened with her and Oprah again. Um, and so, so, you know, I guess for people who don't know, um, Oprah brought her family on the on her show to discuss Monique and. The, I, I don't know. That shit is crazy to me because the base, uh, the base on the story, story she just told. Um, I guess Oprah wasn't supposed to have. She didn't want Oprah to put her mother on Oprah because her mother is greedy. But she has a tumultuous relationship with her mother because she is greedy. But she didn't want her to be on Oprah being exposed as a greedy person so like that's what she just said so let me see here you let me see whatever's on your heart almost like there was okay a, let me see we hung up that phone okay here me and here said, we go how do i say what recalls me okay let's see i'm going back i'm trying to be because help, but now i'm watching the scam as much as they talk about she's she oh shit what do i do oh no and let me say this and talk about steve harvey but go watch <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something what <laughs> go watch the one where she talked about steve harvey because she said he doesn't have any integrity and he doesn't have no bag when she said oh when she said that come on what the fuck is wrong with this phone it wants to connect to so many things Y'all are doing the most. Y'all are getting on my nerves. Okay, anyways, y'all retrograde is almost over. How have y'all been doing with retrograde? Has everything been going okay? I've been spending a lot of time to myself, and it's just been really, 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 really great. 
really, really great. I've been a hermit. You hear me? Listen. It was all said and done. Okay, here. Oprah Winfrey calls me. Let me see. I'm seeing the scam. She says she's seeing a scam with her. See, the re-victimization, I could understand. I'm not one to see your molester. Be greedy. Watching her mother be greedy. my other brother. So... So it's weird because it's like you're saying you didn't want your mom, you, you wanted to protect your mother from the, wor from the world knowing that she's greedy. So I'm like, what is it, Monique? I don't, I could see the brother, like putting the brother on there, but putting the mom on there and then saying, look, see, here she go, here she go. Sorry, y'all, because this, hold on. I can't put this shit that. Because had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm going to have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. I don't need the world seeing how greedy my mother is. Shut that down. That's one of the reasons why we don't communicate, because of my mother and father's greed. So I would, if you had given me the opportunity, I would have said, I can't put my mother, that's still my mother. Right. Okay? Now here comes the show. And here comes the commercials. And now I'm starting to see my mother and my father and my other brother who was my manager. We didn't discuss that, Oprah. Wait, he was your manager and you went to Oprah? Wasn't my manager time. Okay. But now I had already, you know, fired him. Oh, girl. So what is going on? Why are we still talking about this? Y'all, okay. Her Sydney, of course, is sitting right next to her. You know, yeah. If you don't know how I feel about Monique, like I said, I, Monique used to be one of my favorite comedians. And then that whole thing with her and um, Oprah, with this whole thing, after <coughs> after she got the Oscar, I feel like she changed. I really do. I, I feel, I'll try to say this with I love. Feel, look, here. But I say it because Listen people, to what she and said. then you watch our community say, oh, yeah, it's just a... Listen, listen. How much you're winning. We can't Shut up, Sydney. Seconds. We don't want to hear your fucking mouth they at all. Cast you to the side. No, go go away. All of it's gone. I don't want to hear nothing from your mouth. Um, Paul has this bit I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing from Sydney's big mouth. I don't want. I don't want to hear nothing. Let me hear. Sorry, this is a weird video today, y'all, because I wanted to watch this. I'm just kind of hinting how the tide kind of turned in a sense. Eventually, who you are will always shine through. Moni, you talking to yourself. It may take yourself. a day. It may take years. Eventually, who you are is going to shine through. It may and take an Oscar. We don't make mistakes. Let me be clear. We can make mistakes. We can say things and we say, oh, you know what? If I could get a do-over or let me apologize for it. So she's talking to herself, admit right? to where I was wrong. But what I find in a lot of us is... Got a hard time saying I'm sorry. I can't say I'm wrong because I'm almighty powerful. I'm Mother Nature. I'm Mother Earth. Okay. I'm the Christian of all Christians. Okay. So you watch these people and then you watch our community say, oh, yeah, it's just about the bag. Don't worry about your integrity. And that's the part when I say, y'all, but don't you see we're failing like that? See, I don't agree we're with that. We're failing. We're crumbling. Worrying about the bag. See, I don't agree and with not that. The integrity. And I think, I think that we are failing because, and I, I tweeted about it. Let me go to my Twitter so I can tell you what I said about that statement because I had already watched that clip, so I'm just sharing it with you guys. But what she said about Steve Harvey, please go, go, go watch. It was just, it was just her inflection. Like to me. What Monique should do is still be funny in these interviews. I don't know why. Like I, she, she's funny and she could still, she could still get her point across and still make it funny because that is what comedy is about. Comedy is taking the fuck, the most fucked up situations and trying to find humor in it and making fun of it. Like I under, I just, I wish she would just take a different approach because it all and get the Sydney the fuck up out of there get Sydney out of there I said uh, the mortality that most black folks fundamentally govern themselves by is one of the reasons why we fail it's, we're not failing because we're trying to get the bag and lack integrity I believe that 
because we're competing with people who don't follow those same moral codes, you are going to continue to lose. You fighting the wrong fight. You don't have the right weaponry. You're using morality and how you should govern yourselves in a business with people who don't have any morals. So how do you how do you govern that? You're you're governing yourselves waiting for the afterlife and how you'll be rewarded in the afterlife or are you going to get your shit now? So it's like you have to think about that. There's no no one saying abandon your integrity, but you understand sometimes you got to fight the same kind of fight these motherfuckers are fighting. Like that like I posted the other day on on my Instagram that we when they go high, when they go low, we go high. And some of you in the comments, but yeah, when they go low, we're going to take it down to the flow. And that's what the fuck you should do. Cut them motherfuckers off at the ankle. Talking about we go high. Go high for what? And go high for what? And then what? And then what? Come on. Like that is like you're competing in this, in this society with people who don't follow the same religion they gave you to enslave you. Come on, man. Like, come on. So I don't agree with that, Monique. But what she said about goddamn Steve Harvey, let me see if I could if I could get to it. That shit was funny. Come on, Monique. Sagittarius. Let's see what she said. That shit was so funny. Y'all, so our good brother. Okay. Our good brother. Oh, His name is on the tip of my tip. Our good brother. Yeah, I'm behind this truck. To be arrogant. Oh, shut your ass up speaking about arrogance. Sydney, we don't we don't want to hear nothing you got to say, baby. Nothing. Oh no. Uh uh. No. Be quiet. <laughs> I don't want to hear. Oh, that is the bane of your career, right there. You want to talk about black men not being strong in, in the entertainment industry? He's the reason why you ain't. He's the reason why you ain't working today. I mean, not like working, working, like the way the work that she really want to be doing. Compared to what she just got. She wants an apology from Oprah. Do you think they owe each other an apology? Do you think she owes her an apology for bringing her brother on the show? She hasn't apologized for that. She says she called her afterwards. The media reaction is we gotta look at that as a community. Oh, okay. Here, here it is. Here. Ty turn on Stevie Moore. He'll, I'm sure he'll be fine, but what will your immediate reaction? Well, the immediate reaction is we got to look at that as a community. Y'all, they took a black man's show that's number four in all the daytime. So the reaction is, are we not paying attention? That's the reaction. What? See, Steve, Steve, you said to the community, the hell with integrity, get the bag. And you saw what happened. So now you're saying, I have no integrity and I don't have the bag. <laughs> And now I'm gonna face my family. Nick, so which, the way <laughs> the way is that I don't have integrity and I don't have the bag and I gotta face my family. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was so funny. The way her her voice and if Monique kept that same energy, let me tell you something. She not keeping that same energy. She. she She's trying this angle of, I don't know, like her and Sydney are like, the fact that he's sitting there and at one point in the corner, they gonna put voice of Sydney, <laughs> voice of Sydney Hicks. He's off camera talking. Shut your ass up till the camera is on you, Sydney. He get on my nerves. He really is the bane of her career. Just like Kendu was gonna fuck up Mary J. Blige's career. Every husband manager situation, that is a powerful woman who put a weak, fragile ass, eagle ass nigga in position to make him feel good. Go get you a, another job, Sydney. Why the fuck you gotta be Monique's manager? And here you come with that black exploitation, jibber jabber talking shit. Get the fucking shit out of here. Baby, when she said, he <laughs> had no. You have no integrity and no bag. Wait, <laughs> you, but y'all gotta see her face. Wait, did I turn it down? So again, what you put out is what you get back. But we didn't, even when it came down. Let me we, see. And now I gotta face my family. Here she go. And you saw what happened. <laughs> so now you're saying, I have no integrity and I don't have the bag. <laughs> and now I gotta face my family. <laughs> 
So again, what that, you put out is that's some real put. shit, though. No. I Steve Harvey, that's some real shit. But she wanted him like you know. I guess it could go. To me, I feel like we not we just don't we don't use the same tools to fight them. Or whoever they are, you know, Hollywood, the bigger ups, the hot society, whatever, whoever the fuck is they in your situation, you're not fighting with the same tools your opponent is fighting with. You're fighting for a uh, a spiritual outcome. They're fighting for a physical outcome. And that's just what it is. So they are they don't care about the afterlife they don't care about none of that stuff everything is for the now let me tell you i told you i there was this um and for you guys for you new people i'll mention it again but there was this video with eddie wang on um, viceland and he was having dinner um with i can't remember the white nationalist name but he's very well known and he explained the reason why you know um why people behave the way they do um, as it relates to maintaining possession of the United States. That's the reason why the abortion bill is in place because white women are not having enough babies to maintain the majority. But anyways, this man explained this man explained um, how white nationalists believe and I, I, when he explained that's the reason why you cannot dismiss people you fundamentally do not agree with you cannot just you got to listen to them talk because as soon as he explained it i was like that's it that is the reason why they are behaving the way that they're behaving and i didn't know at the time that i saw this was like a few years ago but i didn't i didn't quite understand like what the fuck like when he explained it i want it now i want it i'm not i'm not caring about the future i'm not caring about I, that uh, if we came from sub-Saharan um, uh, areas in Africa that, that we all derive from there. He's like, I don't care about that. My skin is white. It is a privilege to be this way. I'm going to use it to my advantage and I'm going to make sure the nation that I have the majority in remains that way. I, and when he, I said, and, and it's like, that is why you got to listen to people you don't agree with. You can't shut out everybody you don't agree with. Because then you'll have a better understanding of how you need to position yourself and how you need to move through this motherfucker. Because these motherfuckers are, are serious. Are serious. And I'm telling you, that man is going, is going to be... The way that they're protesting in Puerto Rico... For that crooked ass governor to get his ass out... Who he, fi he finally resigned this morning... Who I really believe that he was going to die by suicide because everybody's stepping down, stepping down, stepping down, and you the last one to refuse. All these people refusing to step down in situations where they're corrupt and they're, they're, they're putting their self-interest over the people that they're supposed to be governing, they're getting clues and cues from, oh boy, here. He's going to do the same exact thing. And do you think people going to run up in the White House? Do you think that's gonna happen? Come on. That's gonna he they're all getting cues from that man. They don't want to lose possession of this country. And slowly but surely it's happening. There will be a minority in right down the road. You could see it. So what do we gotta do? Make sure white women can't have abortions. We need to make sure they have having babies. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about tomorrow. They don't care about none of that. It's what it's now. It's now. I'll post the, the link to that video. Um, and I'll post and I'll post I'll post a link to that video. I mean, I said I don't care if if everybody originated from Africa. My skin is white, so I am going to. Uh, do whatever it takes because that is who is in power and I look like that so I'm going to take advantage of that right now. That shit is crazy, huh? So what do y'all think about um, what happened with Future? It's the same thing that happened to ASAP Rocky in a sense. But these people are harassing these rappers or entertainers and harassing them on the street and trying to do things for clout and um, their 15 minutes 
and the governments are, I guess, are reminding you, Len, just like um, g Easy said about ASAP Rocky that it's clearly a race thing because he got arrested for possession of cocaine and I, what it was some what is it was it assault and possession of cocaine and was out very quickly and asap is still in there so it's like what are y'all what is sweden what kind of message are they sending you know what i'm saying um because like that on the other hand you know he's over there learning it's he's learning a lesson what they say when when did you realize you was black that type of lesson you know like Kanye says when you hang around with people who don't know who you are they'll forget who you are so keep that keep that in mind too but anyways I'm rambling but Future's bodyguard or security guard and it made it look like Future did ignore it, but he said that the video is edited so they it was uh, some people came and was like offering fellatio and then didn't want to leave them alone i was like this is weird what is wrong with people people are weird like why are you bothering people on the street like that's crazy to me and then like dude came from behind and like snuffed old boy like and really knocked him out and it looked like he didn't have a shoe on i was like where is his shoe what the hell happened to his damn shoe let me get over here it was not a good look i was like um and then dudes all on camera like like bragging not and because they don't have the same kind of system oh and then the thing with asap rocky let me tell you something let me back up let me back the fuck up because orange julius and kim and them trying to get asap rocky out right so oh boy he says that he called the prime minister and if we need to do get you know get the bail in order and all this other stuff so we can make sure we get asap rocky out honey then people are like if y'all don't get away from me with this american shit y'all don't move a motherfucking thing first of all we don't even have that kind of system so it ain't no bail <laughs> damn bail so he gonna stay right here and what y'all gonna do yeah I, I was like it's an american being mistreated what what did they do for that they ended up killing old boy in um was north korea that took the poster down honey they sent his ass they sent his dead body back let y'all niggas know we not playing over here i don't know who, who y'all think y'all are that's what's the crazy part americans really have this this weird idea that it's some it's like it's very, it's like oh boy is a rep, it's a great representation of how people see america like the, he is a great right he's like he is a <laughs> an accurate president of the united states <laughs> he is an accurate representation of the united states y'all like for real like come on we hate it and this is not the america we know <laughs> Oh my God, don't you love it when the people be like, this is not, this is not who we are as Americans. No, it is, it's exactly who you are. <laughs> this idea that America has created around themselves, only thing that makes America powerful is the military. That is it, everywhere else, in every other industry, we are behind. <laughs> So everywhere, all these homeless ass people, all these hungry kids in school. Come on, y'all. All this shit. Come on. It ain't cute. It is not cute, goddammit. So this idea of the taglines and the fight songs and the flags and shit, this shit is crazy. That man is exactly where he's supposed to be. And he's gonna let y'all niggas know come 2020, he ain't leaving that motherfucker. I bet you right now that nigga is looking for a loophole in whatever rules see the rules were created so that somebody just like him can slide into office you only have to be an american citizen and 35 years old to be the president of the united states there are no other qualifications god damn it none so because they operate from a level and a uh this idea that they're better than everybody when they're really operating on a very mediocre level it is created that way so that they can fall into these positions he is exactly where he should be. 
Exactly. And he's going to be there next year. Because the, the damn Democrats, they don't know. They have no collective vision at all. And it's the old, the old dem against the new generation. And the old, they acting just like elders. We're not going to give anything up. We've been doing it right. Think, thinking they doing it right this whole time. Y'all ain't doing it right. Y'all not doing it right. Y'all not doing it right. Let this ju new generation fall in line. Bernie Sanders, you need to drop out your old ass. Joe Biden, you y'all need to drop the fuck out. Like this shit is crazy. Y'all crazy. I, it's crazy, lady. Let me get over. Uh, they need to drop out. Let the let. It's time to change. It, 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 but ain't nothing gonna happen, really. I don't even know I'm talking about this shit because the shit is. It really is a show. I really like. If you've never seen V for Vendetta, it really is that. It's just like this shit is. This shit is a goddamn soap opera. All of it is a soap opera. <coughs> Your reality show is just as raunchy and trashy, and <coughs> and not setting a good example as everything else on fucking TV. It's, it's especially how the uh, real TV. That shit is crazy. What else? What else? I can't believe that guy hit that. And nothing's going to happen to that guy. Nothing is going to happen to that guy who hit Future's bodyguard. And for me, I feel like something, something is wrong with that story anyways. I didn't get it. I was just like, why was it cut like that? And why didn't show Future? And everybody's like, Future, that's fucked up. You left your bodyguard. But you can see the video is clearly edited. And it looks like a, time, like a lapse in time. It wasn't like he hit the dude and he was already over there getting on the airplane. I don't know. The shit is weird. The shit is crazy. Um, what else? That's it. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> What's going on? I don't feel like talking anymore. I'm done. I'm in a good mood. Fun therapy at the church this Sunday, y'all. There. I have a little sign out. Oh, let me see. What else? What else? Let me hear what uh, what what we finished saying. Let's see. What? Well, and they take your gig? How does that happen? Because we know people that has had numbers that were so low, but they stayed on for years. But nobody, none of the community said, hold up, we got to stand behind our brother. We got to say to NBC, we ain't tolerating that. See, now she telling y'all. to me. See, y'all was going, look. <laughs> see, see, this is what happens when you are so binary in how you feel about things. Y'all, she told y'all, y'all should have stood behind Steve Harvey. But y'all was sticking up for her by vilifying Steve, what Steve Harvey had talked to her about. But she said when when he lost his show, y'all didn't stand up for Steve Harvey. See, <laughs> y'all didn't stand up for him. Monique is crazy. She like she speaks uh, a lot of what do you call it? Like the girl from um, like they said Camille she talks out of both sides of her mouth. That's what they said about Camille on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Her ass was acting so damn crazy yesterday. I said, Camille's ass is bringing the drama. These boring ass bitches want to be acting like, honey, she was letting them know, shut up. You're so fake. It's just something about you. I just don't like it. I just don't. I just don't. It's just fake. <laughs> she does not like Dorit. Dorit with all them clips on, I thought it was the cutest thing. It looked like a little, I was like, she, when, when they first came out, I was like, she has a bonnet, but it's a bunch of clips, like little bedazzled clips. Very cute. Her dress is real cute too. But anyways, yeah, so that was, um, what was I just saying, child? I'm in the best mood right now, like, in the best mood. Okay, let me put, yeah, let me, let me put it, because, honey, y'all don't be paying attention. Oh, my God, what is going on? I could really get off on the next exit and just come around. This is, doesn't make any sense. That don't make no damn sense. That's crazy. That exit. The exit all the way off the freeway. That don't make no sense. I'm not I'm not waiting right there. Y'all crazy as hell for that. What's going on over there? Why is the line so long to get off the freeway? Not I. I'm going the other way. Anyways, y'all, I'm getting off this um, thing here. And we, 
Maybe we'll come back later. What else? Did Queen Sugar come on last week? I could not find the sh no, any streams. You know, I don't have, I don't get ads and stuff, so I don't know. So let me know because I was looking for it. And what else did I watch? Um, what else? I just watched Beverly Hills last night. What else? I don't remember, child. I do not remember. Anyways, I'm out of here. Y'all take care of each other and protect your energy and have a wonderful day. Oh my God, here's this exit too. Okay, see, <laughs> what is going on? Is this exit really far back too? What is going on with these people? This makes sense anyways. This is where I should be getting off any, any fucking way. Any fucking way. Anyways, y'all, I'm out. Okay, I'm out. I'm out for real. Y'all have a good day. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace.